In this video, I'm going to take a look at binary addition. The only figures you will see in a binary number are a 1 and a 0. In front of you, you can see I've got two zeros, and when they're added up, they will give us the value of 0. Here, you can see I've got a binary 0 plus a binary 1, and that'll give us an answer of 1. If I look here, I've got a 1 plus a 0, and that'll give us an answer of 1. And here, I've got a binary 1 plus a binary 1, and that'll give us the answer of 2. Now, we're in binary, we're not in deanery. But if it was the number system we're all used to using every day, you would represent it by this figure 2 here. Of course, we're not dealing in deanery, so this 2 is something we would not use. We would use the binary value for 2, which is shown here. It's 1, 0. This is in the units column, and this one here is in the twos column. So we have position values when we're dealing with binary numbers. The position value of this is 1, and the position value of this is 2. But of course, this represents no lots of place value 1, and this represents one lot of place value 2. So overall, this represents 2. Let's consider the example where we're adding three ones up. Now, what this will give us is the value of three, because one plus one plus one is three. And if we were dealing with deanery, we would write this figure down. But we're not dealing in deanery, we're dealing in binary. Now, binary three looks like this, one, one, because this position is worth one, and this position is worth two, and when you add those together, you get three. So these three ones, when added together, give you this value, which is the value of 3. Now, it may look like 11, but it's not, because you have to realise you're dealing with binary. So 1, 1, if it's a binary representation, represents 3. To be proficient at adding binary numbers, you need to memorise the following. 0 plus 0 equals 0, 0 plus 1 equals 1, 1 plus 0 equals 1, 1 plus 1 equals 2, which is written down as 1, 0 in binary, and 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, but that's written as 1, 1 in binary. Consider this nibble, 0, 1, 0, 0, and I've placed each of the digits in their own flip-flop just for convenience. If I now consider a different nibble here and then ask the question, what happens when I add these up? Well, the result will need to be stored somewhere so you can see I'm having four flip-flops set aside for the result. Now, to perform the addition, you do it to each column in turn. So I come to this column and I'm adding a zero plus a zero which we know is zero, so you can see zero appears here. We move on to this column, and it's a zero plus a one. Consequently, a one will be placed here. Then we come to this column, and a one plus a zero is a one, so we place the one here. And then we go to the final column, and a zero plus a zero is a zero, which we place here. Let's consider this nibble. And we can see that this is in the place value of 4, so this nibble will equal 4. This one here, well, we can see that 1 is in the place value of 2, so the nibble will equal 2. And of course, if I add those up, we're going to get the result of 6. If we come down here and look at the results, we can say this is in the place value of 2, and this is in the place value of 4. And of course, when you add those up, you get 6, showing us the addition I've just shown you is correct. Let's consider the values of each of these nibbles in our number system. The first one we know is equal to 5. The second one is equal to 5. And we know that when we add 5 to 5, you're going to get 10. And if you look at the last nibble, we know that that is equal to 10. This is in the position where the value is 2 and this is in the position where the value is 8 and 8 plus 2 is 10 
and you can see I've made it equal to 10. And I'm emphasizing that it is 10 by that text that just appears. Because it can be sometimes a little bit confusing when you see one zero and your mind's on both deanery and binary is to say, this is two. No, I mean it to be 10 because I'm dealing with deanery here with these additional numbers I've put after the equal sign. They're deanery. The nibbles that appear in the flip-flops, they're binary. So they can be confusing when you're dealing with number systems, when you're looking at the figures and you need some way of telling yourself what the figures are that you're dealing with and telling other people who might be checking on any calculations you might be responsible for making. Consider this number here, 101. What is it? Well, let's say I was thinking of deanery. Then that's 101. But if it was binary, it would represent 5. So I have to think carefully when I'm dealing with number systems about any steps I take. What number system am I dealing in? So we can ask the following question when we see this, when we're dealing with number systems. Is what I'm looking at 101 or is it 5? So if I did not want to confuse myself or anybody else that might be looking at my calculations and I decided I wanted 101 to be the binary representation of 101 and not get mistaken for 101, then what you can do is what I'm showing appearing now. You stick a little 2 here and this 2 is not part of the number. It hasn't got any value. It's just a reminder to me or anybody who reads the work that I'm writing out or if I'm reading their work that we're dealing here with a binary number. So this, if I was to look at it in our number system, would indeed have the value of 5. And if I wanted to ensure that the number was read as 101, what I can do is this. I write a little 10 here. And this 10 is not part of the number. It's just a memory aid for me to make me realise that I'm dealing with the number system, which is based on 10 figures, which is the deanery number system. And therefore, this is 101. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.